We've made a funky planter and now it's time to plant it up. We found the perfect spot for our little tabletop, right here on the lawn with gorgeous views in the background. Garth has drilled a couple of holes in it and that's all we need. Now, the next step is as follows. I've got in here a mixture of potting soil with some bone meal already mixed in it and I'm going to just put in a little bit inside my container and at this point you only need to fill it up halfway. Remember one of the biggest mistakes we make when we are planting up any container is that we fill it right to the top with potting soil. Remember you still got to fit a plant inside there and with the plant volume you're going to end up having to remove half the soil and dig it out like a Jack Russell being let loose in your garden. So, right. So, centre plant I'm using is this awesome chilli. I mean, take a look at this baby. And I've been told that um, it's quite fiery. So, this little baby is going to go right here. Lovely, with it over the edges a bit. Perfect height. And you see, that's why we don't fill it all the way to the top. Now, that is my main plant that I'm putting in. The next one I'm putting in is this gorgeous lemon thyme. Just give it a... Oh, man, it's so beautifully fragrant. Let's take it out the bag. All right. Tease the roots a little because it is quite root bound. Just helps the plant to settle in and allows it to grow much quicker. And this gorgeous chap can go right here. Look at that, really going over the edges. Isn't it amazing how soon as you add plants into something, how it's just gonna soften it. Immediately you can see that effect. Take my little scoop, pop a bit of soil in on the sides here to make sure we filled it up properly. Hold your, your plant back gently and then just scoop it in. Now, the one thing that we always have handy, you know, when you're doing containers is to have a little paintbrush. Not only is it going to be used, take away the excess, but you take it here, you can just push down the soil to make sure it's getting in all those little corners. Right, while we're here, take the other end, just get it all in, and then just fluff out the plant and it's looking lovely. And for a burst of colour, I've got these little guys. This is called Capsicum Salsa. You can see why it's called Salsa. A dwarf little chilli. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pop, pop him in here. I've got another little chap that I'm going to pop in right here. Use the scoop once again to fill it up because that's all I'm going to add in the form of permanent plants in here. And the rest are just going to be fillers. Right, that's filled in nicely and just brush it off once again and then for my filler plants we're going to use the following. I've got a couple little perennial lettuce here, beautiful frilly lettuce. You know how much money we spend every year buying these guys from the shops. Why not just grow your own? Here you're getting nine little plants, great for hanging baskets and containers. Remember Within two weeks, you'll be picking your first lettuce off this guy. And remember, these little guys will go in, in your garden for up to two to three months, giving you loads and loads of fresh lettuce for you and your family. And finally, I'm going to put in this beautiful little allison. This is a little perennial. And what I'm going to do is... Ah, oh, did you know allison has the most beautiful fragrant flowers? The white will just offset here against the base of the chilli. Oh, Alison will cascade all the way down, right over here, lovely and fragrant. So while you're sitting around your table, you'll also get those awesome, awesome perfumes. And one more little guy, just right here. And there we have it, final little bit. Clean it off with your paintbrush. All it needs is a good water. As I said, these permanent plants in here are the chilies, your thyme, the things that you're going to interchange are your lettuce and your allison. Of course, you could go with anything. You could put a spinach bright lights inside here, one or two plants. Beautiful colours on their stems, the most vibrant, vibrant colours. You could pop a few chives in here, really anything. Or you could go with more herbs, maybe a lavender or two would be wonderful. At the end of the day, you're wanting something that's fragrant, that's tactile, that's tangible. So when you touch it, you get the smell because that's what brings gardening alive.
Right, Holly, I don't suggest that you eat the chilies. Mm, not good for dogs. Right, folks, so everything's planted up, looking gorgeous. Remember, all that it needs is a good watering, and whenever you can, please make sure that you do give it some liquid pot plant food. It's really important that whatever the instructions say that you follow it. If it says water it once a week with the liquid pot plant food, then you do so. Remember, if it's going to be out in the sun like this guy is, it's probably going to need water every day or every second day. So, this comes to our question for this week. It comes from Linda from Folksrust. And Linda wants to know the following. She says she germinates a whole lot of veggie seedlings, but then all of a sudden, she'll go back the next morning and they'll just be mown off, like someone's gone through there with a chainsaw and just cut them all down. Well, <clears throat> this is a very, very easy and very common problem in terms of veggies. What it is, is a little guy called a cutworm. He lives just under the sur surface of the soil, about probably two centimeters underneath. And if you had to take your finger and just run around where your veggies were, you'll probably bring him out. He's a short, fat little guy, and all he eats is the stems. Wah! Mows them down, just like a chainsaw, and it's all gone. So the best method, obviously, is prevention. Soon as your little veggies start germinating and start popping up, I'd suggest you get a bit of cutworm bait, sprinkle a very small amount around the plants because you don't need loads. And in that way, you'll be sure, certain to have loads and loads of very healthy veggies that are chainsaw free. You like golf? Very nice, Tanya. You're going to try one of these chilies? No. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, from Garth and I, that's all we've got time for this week. Take care of you and yours, and most importantly, happy gardening. <laughs>